What is going on my YouTube family? Sergeant Greybeard at Greybeard Gaming Group. Today is Thursday, September 10th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. If you happen to be new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family, and if you enjoyed this or found it helpful, please take a quick second, hit that like button. It really does help us out. Finally, as you can see on the screen, we are currently having a giveaway for either an Xbox One S or a PlayStation 4 Pro. All you need to do to enter is subscribe to our channel here, or you can follow us on Twitter. Either way is fine, and we will be announcing the winner on November 5th of this year. As always, please keep in mind, watching our content is not a requirement to win. Watch only what you want. That's why we give you the option of entering the contest via Twitter. Having said that, let's get into today's video. As we begin, I want to take a quick second and say thank you all so much for being so patient in regards to our putting out new content for Ghost of Shishima. It's been a really crazy time, but moving forward, these videos will be more often. As I'm sure all of you know by now, there is a multiplayer game mode of this game coming out called Legends, and it should be released at this point sometime in the fall. We have been receiving a lot of messages asking us what's the best way to get resources, whether it's supplies or iron or leather or whatever it may be, to really get your character to its max level so you're ready for the new gameplay. So therefore, in today's video, we're going to be showing you a few different ways you can really get as much stuff as possible. You can start this as early as you want in the game, and yeah, let's just uh, jump into it. One thing I want to start off with is the gear that you have equipped when you're doing this. So the first thing you want to make sure is you have the Traveler's Attire equipped. This happens to help out a lot when you're just exploring in the open world or farming for things. As you can see with the bonuses on the screen, all of those things greatly help, including the controller will vibrate within 60 meters of an artifact. Now you can see my Traveler's Attire is fully upgraded. It doesn't need to be. Just having it equipped really will help you out. The next thing I recommend is making sure you have the Charm of Inari equipped as it greatly increases the resources you get from farming certain items. For those of you who may not have the Charm as yet, I will put a link below to a video that I made which shows you how to get it. The first thing we want to show you today is a way to get unlimited supplies. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this spot on the map. Now there are multiple areas in the world you can do this, but we've chosen this one. And one quick thing, as we continue the video, this is something that is geared to new players, people returning to the game. This is a method that's been out there for a while, but a lot of people were still asking about it. Now, the reason we've shown you this location on the map is that it happens to be in Region 1. Therefore, you can hit this up right out of the gate. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do when you get here is clear out all the enemies in the area. So you're going to want to make sure the camp is totally clear. Now how you clear the area is up to you. You do not need to be stealthy at all. There is no leader to observe. So again, just come in there, take everyone out, and then we go to the next step. So now that I've cleared the camp entirely, you can see there's a uh, supply chest right there. I am not going to open it. The first thing I'm going to do right after the camp is cleared is save the game. What saving the game does is creates a checkpoint for you. So after we've saved the game, we will go through the camp, we will open the chests, and then we will go back to the menu and restart from checkpoint. And I mean, I'm going to show you, you know, how it plays out on screen, but you'll notice a few things. First off, this has to do just with supplies. So in the camp, you will find some leather or iron or other things, but those will not respawn. The only thing that is going to respawn are the supplies. Now later in the video, I will be showing you some other areas where you can get other things such as iron and leather, whatever. But this aspect at the beginning, again, you can just do this over and over and over again to get, like I said before, unlimited supplies. Now once you hit that restart from last checkpoint, it is going to put you right outside of the camp. And as you see in a second, I'm running back into the camp and the chest that I just opened is now sealed again with more supplies in it. This is something you can do over and over and over again. There is no limit to it. So as much time as you want to spend doing this, feel free, go ham, do whatever you want, but you can really stock up in some good things. Now there happen to be other areas in the world that you can do this as well, but again, it is just focused on supplies. So if you find another camp like this, you can apply the same method there as well. Now, in regards to farming for other things other than supplies, the most efficient way we have found so far is just to hit up as many camps as you can on the map. 
We recommend this because a lot of these camps are really in close proximity to each other and you can bounce from one to the other and really pick up a lot of stuff really fast. Another great aspect is the fact that for camps that are close to main roads, you are going to hit a lot of encounters, which again is another way to pick up on more supplies. And keep in mind, there are two ways of looking at this. I mean, the main goal in my showing you this is how to maximize your gameplay so you get supplies as quickly as possible. However, this is the type of game you really want to take your time and explore as much as you can, so there shouldn't be too much of a rush. I mean, that's just my opinion. Play the game, obviously, any way you like. And like I said at the beginning of the video, for people who want to get things as quickly as possible now that new content is coming out, this should help you a lot. And one thing I actually want to show you as we wrap up the video, going back to what I was saying about taking your time and exploring the world, that is another way you can really find a lot of great resources. As I open up the map, you can see where my character icon is. Now again, we are in Region 1, but you want to go to this spot so we can get to the area that is marked Sibling Rocks. You'll see in a moment that from this location, all you do is you walk to the edge of the cliff, you will see another spot that you can jump down to and you want to make that jump. Now that first jump is the largest one you will take, make sure you do have enough resolve so you can get yourself back up, but then all we're going to do is follow this path to get to the actual spot that we showed you on the map. Over the next few weeks, we're going to make a video dedicated to just showing you farming spots like this. Now, most of you know at this point, and if you don't, you will now, that a lot of these items in the game do not respawn. Now, I know there were some glitches that were out. They have since been patched, and there may be a few things that are random here and there, but so far, this is the best way we've found in order to find some really great stuff in a short amount of time. And now getting back to the location we're showing you now at Sibling Rocks, these are the areas that you want to check out because you'll see in a moment you find one spot and there is a ton of stuff here. Now I tried multiple times to see if I could get these items to respawn. There's no way that they do. And another good thing actually about this area is you will also find a banner here. And as we finish this video up, this is another reason, you know, when you encounter little areas like this, this is why you want to make sure when you are farming for things, you have the Traveler's Attire on and you have the Charm of Inari equipped as well. And actually, a quick reminder in regards to that, this is usually what I keep on all the time. And if I encounter a standoff of random enemies, during that moment where you see there's an enemy, you can hit pause and just change your gear right then. On that note, we're going to wrap up this video. I want to once again thank you all so much for the continued support watching our content. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this, please take a second and hit that like button. Most importantly, as always, take care, be kind, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.